Space Exploration Technologies Company, more commonly known as SpaceX, was founded in 2002 by billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk. What are SpaceX's goals and how do they plan to achieve them and will they succeed? From the start, SpaceX has been an underdog. Elon initially travelled to Russia in the October of 2001 in the hopes of buying ICBMs from Russia's businessmen to kickstart a rocket company, but was quickly dismissed. He eventually decided to build the rockets himself and spent the money on a rocket called Falcon 1. This rocket was a gamble, and after three failed attempts, the company was nearly broke. On the 28th of September 2008, with both SpaceX and Tesla on the brink of collapse, the Falcon 1 successfully launched. Just three months later, on the 23rd of December, SpaceX was awarded a $1.5 billion contract by NASA. Since then, SpaceX has thrived. The Falcon 9 was developed as a low-cost alternative to most other rockets flying cargo to space. SpaceX does this by manufacturing a lot of the parts on site, which can make a military flight cost $90 million with one of their rockets, compared to $380 million with a rocket from United Launch Alliance. The Falcon 9 version 1.0 was successfully launched on June the 4th of 2010. Following this was the first successful launch of the Dragon spacecraft, which delivers supplies to the International Space Station, which occurred on the 8th of December in 2010. The Grasshopper rocket was developed in 2011 and launched successfully in 2012. Its purpose was to demonstrate landing rockets back to Earth. Falcon 9 version 1.1 was significantly more powerful cousin and the replacement of the version 1 and was successfully launched on the 29th of September 2013. This rocket demonstrated the capability of powerful rockets launching and landing successfully and doing this successfully on the 22nd of December 2015 in a live stream that was watched worldwide. Three more landings to sea have occurred on the sea barge Of Course I Still Love You, the odd names originating from the culture novel series. So now we come back to the original question, what are SpaceX's plans? Ultimately, Elon Musk wants to establish a human colony on Mars. The purpose of his space flight so far have been to reduce the cost of space travel, which he is currently in the process of doing. Currently, advanced details on a manned mission to Mars by SpaceX are not currently known. However, Elon Musk made a recent announcement stating that details on a Mars mission would be detailed at September's International Aeronautical Congress. It is possible that details on the much-anticipated Mars Colonial Transporter will be announced then. In December of this year, the Falcon Heavy will launch. This rocket will be the most powerful rocket in existence in the world, able to carry 54 tons into orbit, which is twice the amount of the next most powerful rocket, at one third of the cost. Most importantly, the plan is to land all three rockets, which will make up the Falcon Heavy. Following this will be the first orbital manned test of the Dragon V2 in mid-2017. This is SpaceX's first manned spacecraft, which means SpaceX will deliver humans to the ISS. So how would SpaceX reach Mars then? By reducing launch costs for reusable rockets, it may be cheap enough to allow a mission to proceed. Initially, an unmanned mission will be launched first, called Red Dragon, in 2018. This will be a modified Dragon V2 capsule, and if it lands on Mars, it will be the largest man-made vehicle to do so. Following this, SpaceX plans to do a mission every two-year window of opportunity following, with two manned missions in 2020, and the first possible test the Mars Colonial Transporter in 2022. Details on the Mars Colonial Transporter have not yet been revealed. However, it is rumored that it will be the most powerful rocket ever envisioned, even more so than the Saturn V. Should all go well, a manned mission on the Mars Colonial Transporter could occur optimistically as early as 2024. The mission details are not yet known, However, if the mission becomes a historic success, in time the initial base will expand into a habitat and eventually a city. It is predicted that around 100,000 people would need to get to the Martian surface for a human presence to be considered permanent on Mars. The reason why Elon Musk is so adamant about getting there is because the longer we remain on Earth, the larger our chances of extinction become, either by a meteor, supervolcano, nuclear war, or any other unforeseen catastrophe. Becoming a multi-planetary species will ensure our survival from not all, but a large multitude of single planet threats. Finally, what are SpaceX's chances of success? At this point, it seems that they have the will and the means. Whether they will be successful will become clearer as more missions are carried out and more milestones are reached. So at this moment in time, it seems a bit early to tell. The best idea is to watch it all unfold. So what do you think of SpaceX aiming for Mars? Do you think they'll make it? Leave a comment below with your thoughts, and thanks for watching.